Ooh, what's up, guys? It's Wars. Welcome to our Pokemon Wi Fi battle with George Rule, of course, the Scarander. And today we're going up against a good friend of mine. We named Supreme Toad Lord or Leo. And uh, yeah, basically, people were asking for either PU or RU in uh, my previous video. So I decided to go for PU because I really like to, um, to be honest, to play <laughs> as weird as I can. Uh, so I decided to bring, of course, my Bandit DNA, which is, hasn't been used for quite some time. Uh, Bandit DNA is terrible, um, but it has killed a few things. It killed a Mega Metagross and it's killed a Mega Garchomp, so it has a legendary status behind it. So I'm really looking forward to using that one again. And it's kind of hard to prepare for because mostly, well, obviously, DNA is not that potent when it comes to physical bulk so, um, or physical attack. So... Usually people respond special defensively, which often makes sure that it's gonna get a nice hit on it. Outside of that, I'm using uh, Nasty Blood, Semisaur, Semipore, uh, Go-Goat, Honedge, Dudrio, Bandit, and Meowstic, which is Specs. And I'm going against a pretty funny team, to be honest, with uh, Mighty Yena, Eevee, Altaria, Behem, Dusk Noir, and Emolga. Now, Emolga is very, very potent, since it actually could be either a physical set, or supporter set, or special sets. I love the um, physical set, so I'm a bit scared that that's what I'm facing. And I'm just going to start off with Dead because Dead and A kind of work great against this team overall. I do lack, of course, a move to hit Dusk Noir, so that thing is going to keep me at bay. But aside of that, Dead and A should be just fine about in this game. So, with all this, my guys, let's go. Also, I should say this I try not very, very high resolution this time around because I actually got my old PC back, so I really want to pressure it to. The most really, and at the get go here, he's gonna start with, of course, em Emolga. I was gonna say Empoleon, and Emolga is gonna go for a Phantom Pass, which I thought was really weird. I was thinking it could potentially go for a Bolt Switch since it doesn't really affect me that much, but that's a, you know, a safe call, if anything. So let's go for Play Rough, and that does just about nothing on a Dusk Noir. And uh, pretty much that tells me that he could be defensive, but at the same time, Dusk Noir is super defensively naturally. So what the hell do I know? So I'm just going to go to Esper, uh, because I know that if, as long as I go for Shadow Punch, I should be fine. Uh, but actually goes for a Trick Room, and that's scary. That's really, really, really scary. So I know I can take one Shadow Punch for sure, but it's actually going for Shadow Sneak instead, which is kind of scary. Uh, should it run 50% if it doesn't score a crit, which he does. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a Trick here, giving me, him my specs, because... This thing is very, very hard to deal with, so having that shut down or limited is the best I can do, and luckily it did pay off. Had it switched out, that would have been just all kinds of terrible, and um, being that I think he's going to go for another Shadow Sneak, I'm just going to bring Dudrio here and lock myself into a bad knockoff. Luckily, it goes to Nerdquake. Had it had uh, Ice, um, what do you call it, Ice Punch, that would have been all kinds of terrible, to be honest. So he's going to go to his Crystalline. Which is gonna fall directly here. It's not gonna take that knockout. So boom, dead. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> so he's gonna go to his mighty Yana this time, and mighty Yana could be potentially dangerous. I know DNA can take a life or crunch below fifty percent, but outside of that, I can only pull this stunt once, and uh, he's gonna go for that crunch, but it doesn't do enough damage on me, which tells me that he's either. Um, a weakness policy set, which is not very likely, or a scarf set. So he does outspeed the majority of my team, so that's a thing I have to keep in mind. So I'm gonna go for U-turn since it does actually hit super effectively anyway, and um, if anything, I get momentum if it switches out. And I think U-turn are close to taking out my I don't think it does. So I'm just gonna go to Dudro back again, basically. We, you know, without the um, rocks, Dudro can come in freely. And uh, it does pack a punch behind it. That knockoff is just all kinds of bad. And then um, Dusk Noir is gone. And that's a big threat out of the way. While I did shut it down, it still is a potent threat. So it's going to go to Lucy now, which would be, of course, the Mighty Yana. And this time I'm going to stay in because now I know he's likely not banded or life for, which means I can take this crunch fairly well. And um, knockoff is going to take away his scarf. So at this point, it felt kind of good. I still want to keep this thing uh, kind of healthy. Because Dudrio just pack a punch. So I gotta go to Maxim the Go-Goat. Because I know I can take a crunch even though I'm not that defensive. I still have a lot of HP. And hopefully 
the combination should be just about enough for me to actually take it out. I don't know if Horror Lady does enough damage, but I know it's gonna hurt. But it does pack the Ice Punch, or Ice Punch, Ice Fang, but it doesn't do too much damage on me, and to get it with the Horn Leech and the Leftovers, I should be able to take another one if he decides to go for another round of it, because I do get roughly over 100, and he did roughly around 100 on me, so I felt kind of safe staying in. You know, it is a roll though, I do believe he could potentially take me out, but I do survive it, luckily I do start 6 HP and stuff like that, so... Um, Mighty Yen is gone, and with Mighty Yen gone, there is really not a whole lot stopping me because Mighty Yen poses a really big threat for me. But um, his last months are not that threatening for my dead and actually. So I had that in mind, and uh, basically he's gonna bring the High Flyer, of course, being the um, Emolga, and I'm basically gonna let him finish off my Go Goat because I have nothing really to come in on this. Uh, um, Volt Switch or Air Slash and uh, basically I just want to bring that in A and he's gonna show me that his life orb which is just incredible and I'm gonna lock myself in the player, player after there's no reason for me not to and I'm gonna take this Air Slash fairly well but um, at the same time it does mean that his uh, EV can come in and go for a quick attack and finish me off uh, Black Lido I do take out the Molga which is awesome that's the power of Bandit dead in A Taking out those low defensive Pokemon, so that way Lucian is gonna come in, and I'm gonna switch out and just gonna go to Hone Edge, and Hone Edge should be able to finish this game, finish up this game just nicely. Huh. Sorry about that. So anyway, his Ghost Quick Attack, which I thought was kind of obvious, so I'm just gonna go for Sword Stance because Sword Stance pretty much ensure that I can take out Altaria with a combination of Iron Head and the Shadow Sneak. I can live a Fire Blast from it, and I can also live potential Earthquake. And uh, he does reveal that he's a physical set, which is, like I said, fine, because Fire Blast, like I said, is the one that would push me back. And he's going to show me that he's offensive, and that basically means that his Arnett is going to be a one-hit KO. Now, I do score a crit here, but I'm pretty sure it would have killed it anyway. And if it didn't, I would still be in an area where it would have killed it with the combination of Shadow Sneak. So the last matchup is, of course, the EV, and even with Bite, it's not going to be able to take me out. Though, you know, I could have been flinched, but luckily I'm not. Uh, so this is gonna finish up the game. So Supreme Toller, thank you so much for this battle. I thought it was really fun that you used a lot of um, like um, not that competitive mods. I thought it was really cool seeing them. And Freak Room Dust is not a bad idea. I really like that. And it did pressure me to play differently. So good job on you. So yeah, not a lot of afterthoughts to be honest. Um, this was a very straightforward game and uh, DNA did not do as well or as much as I hoped for, but DNA still kind of works. It's um, it keeps people at bay, and it's kind of funny because it's that is terrible. But um, who the hell cares? And uh, basically, I'm gonna upload another PU game that was just as good. Um, and after that, I'm gonna go back to RU for a while and hope to do some showdown battles too. Yeah, but you guys actually did ask for PU and RU, so I'm gonna do more of that. I'm gonna avoid NU and UU. At least too much because I've done a lot of UU lately and uh, I'm doing quite well at it so um, I can't really joke around too much in higher tiers anyway so uh, I'll keep that in mind. I want to thank everyone for watching as always of course and uh, I'll see you next video. Until then guys, take care. Bye.